Hello and Assalamu Alaikum. Welcome to Teachopedia. In today's video, we will be learning about series and pun and series and data frame, which are some key concepts of Pandas library. So let's get started. First of all, we have imported NumPy and Pandas library. Then we are printing Pandas library version, and then what is pandas pandas is a open source python library which is built on top of numpy it is used for fast analyzing data preparing data cleaning data and it is also used for reading excel sheets csv files or sql files or even a web page so you can learn more about its this library by going on to this link so now let's jump to pandas series pandas series are one dimensional labeled array that are capable of holding any data type value so so to define that we use pd dot series pd is denoting pandas so here we are defining a list and then we are calling pd.series and just passing our list so it will cover, convert our list into a series which have indexes as well so it is a good advantage of using series because in numpy error we don't have any type of accesses and in series we have access we have indexes so we can access any value through its index to print its type and to check whether it's a series or not we use type and just define our variable and we will get its type that is pandas.code.series now we are convert creating an array a numpy array and then converting that into a series so just like in list we are creating a numpy array and then passing it into pd.series and it will return a series which contains one column so remember in series we have one column with its specific indexes we can also update the indexes by using the index parameter of pd.series now here we are passing array again but now we are defining our indexes value it should be of the same length as we are giving the number array the total number of values so if we so if, if I run this it will convert with our new indexes and now we have for each index name we have its value so to print out the values we use dot values and it will print all the series values to print in indexes we use dot index so here I'm calling dot values and here I'm calling dot indexes and we get its values and indexes so now to retrieve some of the values we use specific indexes and we can access those values so I need 0 1 2 3 so when I type 0 to 3 so it will give us 0 1 2 indexes values and it will ignore the last index that is 3 it will give us till 0 till 2 so we will get first three values now here I am extracting the values with a difference of one that is it skip the first value and then print the second value till fourth index so we will get three values first Sara then it skips Bob or oh, then it skips Bob and then print Alex then skips Dan and then print Nancy Till the last index after that I am printing the first three values till index 3 and I'm not defining any value the starting point so it will by default select the 0 and it will print till 0 till 2 so it will print first three values now I want to get the I want to know about the size and the values which a series contain its shape its dimension and its type so I will use some specific functions for that 
and in return of that I get to know its size its shape is 5 rows with 1 column its data type is integer so we can now move forward this is another extraction part in which we are extracting till index 2 so it will print first two values we can also access a specific indices um, based on the indexes and we can define it in a specific list so here I'm just need need to know the value of index Sarah and Alex so I am passing it in a list and it will give all the specific values so after that we will be creating two different CDs and then after that we will convert that into a data frame so here I'm creating a population series through a dictionary of population so for each state we have its population value and we are passing that dictionary into a pd.cds object and then we are getting it a series of population to, to print a specific values we can use indexes and to provide and to get a specific range of values we can identify our indexes in a list by separating a column by, se by separating through a colon okay so moving forward we are creating here uh, add area series through area dictionary and we for each state we have its area so now we have two series one is for population and then one is for area so we will move we will take these values and we would convert that into a data frame so a data frame is a two-dimensional label data structure it is used for data analyzing purposes and it's fast for cleaning our data and enhancing our data interpretacy and the overall structure of the data so to start with we use pd.dataframe just like series we use pd.series in our series case and in data frame we use pd.dataframe so here i'm calling pd.dataframe and then creating a population column and an area column and just passing our population area series here so it will convert that into a data frame which has two columns population and area with specific indexes as of state verb, state names after that i'm creating a multi list and then i'm converting that into a data frame by defining a column values so far so as you can see we have a list of three values so our column length should be three with three specific names so here i have name agent type in our data frame and for each list we have a specific row for that to get a specific column type values we can easily use square bracket and just define our column name and it will return all the values present in that column to get to know about the columns we use dot columns to print the indexes we use dot index and then at the end we are calling states data frame and printing our all the columns like population and area so and this is some basic and helpful functions which we typically use to get to know about your data set so dot head of a data frame will return the first five rows by default you can increase that to 10 15 data frame dot date will return the last five rows data frame dot shape will return a tuple in which number of rows and number of columns will be mentioned dot columns will return all the column names present in that data frame dot indexes return the index of the rows so here i'm just printing specific column values like ADN population and then I'm taking a copy of that data frame by dot copy and then I'm just using that data and creating a new column by just dividing the data population with data area and saving that into a new column called density so now 
we have three columns python automatically identify density as a new column and it save each value for each row and save that into a specific index like california texas so we now have a data frame of three columns with indexes as state names we can get its values through dot values and we can get the shape of that data frame by dot shape so here so in this video i have shared a brief introduction of what a city is how to define it how to use it how to access values and we compare that with data frame as we get to know that data frame contains more than one column and we can easily enhance and create new column easily in data frame we also explore some basic helpful functions in getting to know our data frame more easily through different function like head tail shape columns and so on so i hope you enjoy today's session in which we explore the difference between series and data frame so that's it for today thanks so much